Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. When the heavens open during a race weekend and it simply pours down, racing becomes impossible without a special kind of tyre. Wets. But how do racing cars achieve such high speeds despite the drenched surface? What makes wets so good that the slicks have to come off and they have to go on? Slicks have no tread so can't push the water away. A cushion of water forms, lifting up both tyre and car. And contact with the surface below is lost. A phenomenon known as aquaplaning. How that feels is described for us by reigning BTCC champion Jason Plato. Aquaplaning is, uh, is where the, the, the water will just lift the front wheels off the ground. Um, you know, it happens if, if, if there's been a lot, a, lot, a lot of rain and there's standing water like puddles. Um, it's not a nice experience. Just lifts the front tyres off the ground so you can't steer. Uh, doesn't happen too often. To ensure it doesn't happen too often, new tyres have been constantly developed and tested for 50 years. As here on the Dunlop Test Track. Way back in 1960, Dunlop were already doing in-depth experiments into aquaplaning. These tests showed what, for example, we all know, that at higher speeds a tyre's aquaplaning behaviour becomes appreciably worse. It also showed that the water depth, tyre's width, the depth of the tyre's tread all play a role in this. As a result of such research, even lightweight single-seater racing cars with wide tyres can achieve top speeds on wet tracks. The fact that handling doesn't suffer unduly in the process is down to the details. The inner contours really cut into the water, forcing it to the outside, where it's then quickly channeled away. Racing driver Patrick Simon tests tyres to the limit under extreme conditions that call on all his driving skill. He knows what wet weather tyres need to have. I need lots of tread and a good structure to the tyre, then my water can be conveyed away and the risk of aquaplaning significantly less. At 100, a wet weather tyre pushes away over 70 litres a second. Contact with the track is maintained. In direct contrast, the slick tyre loses grip much sooner, while the wet weather tyre remains controllable and stays online. What wets also make exciting is the gamble of the tyre change. When's he going to change to which tyres? Why are some cars spinning and skidding while others are already lapping smoothly? The secret lies in the tyre's level of wear. Wet weather tyres have a soft compound that grips well when track temperatures are low, but as the track dries, lateral forces quickly wear down their blocks of tread. After just two laps, they start to continually disintegrate. You can start a race in the rain uh, and obviously it, it can dry up. Um, and it, it, that's a, it's, it's a real tough call because from a driver's point of view, you have to monitor how fast it is. You have to drive offline to, get the, to keep the, the cold water going through the tyre to try and cool the tyre down. And that's the, biggest, that's the biggest problem, really. Thanks to research and high-tech design, modern wets are the basis for thrilling action and high levels of safety in bad weather. They reach their limits only when it gets dry again. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.